what you do to me. Hey there, Delilah. I know times are getting hard, but just believe me. This is an example of operant conditioning when Delilah voluntarily climbed the rope, she gets a reward. Delilah can distinguish jumping from the rope because they are different condition stimuli. This is an example of positive reinforcement. She gets a treat after completing the desired trick, which is climbing over the dowel rod. This is an example of a fixed ratio schedule. Delilah receives a reward every time she puts the basketball in the hoop. Folks, take a look at our first rap basketball star so you could use the same technique. She's yeah. Like yeah. Keep it going, rap basketball star. Is that a tasty snack? This is an example of modeling. Delilah watched us push the marble first and then learned to push the marble herself. Here, Delilah didn't know how many times she would have to push the bar until she got a reward. This is a variable ratio schedule. With latent learning, Delilah only showed interest in the bell when a reward was present. Here we use shaping to teach Delilah to jump. First we put books under to help her, and then we gradually took them away. Thank you. Got it. Come on, Delilah, come on, Delilah, go, 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 go. Come on. Good girl. Come on. Yeah. See, she sniffs it, sugar pellet. She touches it, sugar pellet. Go get the ball. Go get the ball. We use shaping or step-by-step -step rewarding. This is one thing after another as she gradually got closer to the final task. Delilah used her cognitive map to get through the maze. She developed a mental layout as we were teaching her to run through it. She does. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Good one. Okay.